Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Excel VB Expert. In today's video, we are going to create MIS report, MIS which stands for Management Information System. So this video actually will help, uh, especially for those who all are fresher, who all are new in the MIS or in the data analytics, right? If they are really not aware of how do we create MIS, only they are aware only of the name. It is MIS, and we know the MIS report, but we really don't know how to create it. So this is something which is a very very basic report okay you guys can create if somebody has given you the raw data only like this and said just extract out the comprehensive information and show us okay and make it dynamic so how you guys can make it i just converted this data in this particular view this is the two they, there are you know little comprehensive information i extracted out and you know made the summary and just you know did some visualization as well with some control bars how we can do so so let's start to solve it if you, if you know you guys can see here we have a two summary okay in these two summary i have created this two visualization all right so if i will select the name this is the month wise you know report if i will select any month for example i am selecting april so you guys can see in april you know the kurta you know uh, sold this much and in in amazon.in okay and this is the non amazon okay this is the platform this is a channel where this product actually you know was sold so right this is something where we have shown the headcount and here jo location wise how much we earn right 22k so it is april so it will show you one more i mean one one month you know ahead it will show you the output for example you are selecting april so may automatically will come and will compare what is the view if we have sold in the 22k and what what is the sale in our next case ideally it should be the previous one but yes in my case i just created the next one you guys can do it okay uh, you guys can you know uh, create the create the prior month i mean prior month i mean so if you're selecting april so in the comparison should happen between april to march right so that is something you know you guys can create but in my case i just created the one month ahead right so this is what actually we are gonna create so let's start first let's insert one seat okay and let me open this you know home tab and remove all the grid lines and select select these you know cells and merge it and write here mis report and make it in the center do some decoration if you guys can if you guys can do some you know uh icon icon you guys can set so you, that will be very very much okay so you guys can do so for example in my case i have you know let me select let me merge it I hope guys this is visible to you okay so I am writing here date and time you need to write like this okay and you guys can give the color whatever color for example you are wanting and merge it and write here text now in the now you have a time and date both so DD MMM YYY you know this pipe pipe icon and HH MM SS AMN PM right and rep text you need to click on the rep text simple and now you guys can do the coloring if you want for example I am doing this color I am just putting this color okay and for the decoration part I am just increasing decreasing this size of I mean the height of the row and giving some different color for example this red one so it seems little good what is the next step the next step is that you need to create the drop down for example I need to create the drop down on the month so he, this is the data we do have this is the date on this date I created this month and location we have sales we have currency we have current quantity we have size category sales channel and status, status right cancel save or pending so here you guys can you know extract a lot of comprehensive information but in my case I will extract only little bit only for the demo person but you will get a base that how you guys can get uh, you know the you get you you guys you know will get the base that how you can extract the other information as well okay which you guys want to show further okay so you need to create the drop down on the month so just copy it and paste it here and remove the duplicacy as i did here right so you just need to come here and go and insert just select the shape like this uh text box and delete it right here delete this text this delete this shape and right here select month okay 
select one and remove the background color from here shape fill should be no and uh, in the font color should be white so that it will make us visible okay you guys can do and drop down you need to create go in developer go in insert comma box you need to select and drag it like this okay drag it like this right click former control in input range you need to go in the sheet where you have removed the duplicates value select it and in the cell link you guys can give any cell for example i am giving q1 and 3d shading you guys can give okay now here you guys if you will select any value for example october so it is giving the index number from this list the october is coming in the list no, i mean in the row number two if you will exclude the header right so you need to go back in the dashboard sheet right here index go in support sheet select all this range okay and go back and select this index number so it will give you the exact value whatever you are selecting in the drop down for example i'm selecting march so it is coming march right so you don't need to delete it guys this is something which is very case sensitive right so here next what we need to do i want to get the count against the against the products right so you need to go in the data and select all the products all the categories so you guys can write here the products okay and remove the duplicates value as i did here okay sorry as i did here so copy it this is the copy it and paste it i want to show the count okay against two channels which is my you know amazon and non amazon how many products we have sale in amazon.in and how many products we have sold in non amazon right so just i just created this one copy it remove the duplicates only okay copy and paste it in the transpose mode and border and set the color if you want to do the color of for example i am doing this color and giving the white one okay now here you guys can do one thing you can start to write your uh, formula which is count if in the count if first you know select this you know product and go back the sheet go back in sheet one select this product normally we as we use the count if okay and for example now month and month we have here right month we have here okay so what next next is channel channel copy not copy select and this one one two you need to write like this okay so in order to convert the same in the thousand you guys can do it but i would not recommend to do so okay all right so here i want to put one condition formatting you know what the condition formatting should be whatever the if the uh, you know not a head count i would say the quantity is greater than you know 100 then it should be green if the quantity is less than 100 it should be red so what you guys can see uh, what you guys can do just select all the numbers go in condition formatting greater than 100 should be green just select the green here okay and again you need to go in less than in less than 100 100 should be red so here you need to go in condition formatting manage rule and let's make it more attractive so how we can do so in edit rule in less than what i want i want the red so let's you know font color should be white and in the fill go and select this red one okay and okay and for the green one same we need to you know make it more green so just this this green okay and click on okay and click on okay and click on okay you guys can see this is looking more good right so now you just need to select this product you guys can write the product select the data go and insert and this is very very basic you know the report i would say you guys can create by yourself okay so just you need to make it adjust somewhere wherever you want to do you guys can write here you know product wise sales make it small go in the home increase decrease the font size and make it you know completely black and remove this grid line and just remove this one and right click and go in change chart type and go in the line and here you guys can select anything for example i'm selecting this line chart and clicking on ok you see and now what i can do is i can select this one and make it 
completely black and you guys can create the data labels as well okay data labels i want in the blue i want on the bottom so click on blue so that it will look better make it i make it bold and same make it bold okay so this is how you guys can you know create i am not going to design okay now this particular chart okay but this is how you guys can create a very very basic mis report this is the only way that you guys can create if you have no idea you know on if you have no idea on the advanced level you know mis reporting so this is the basic reports you guys can create on any raw data first three understanding you should have the data reading you know uh, ability you should have so you guys can understand what kind of information we can extract and we can show for the which can help the business to grow which can help the business to identify the improvement area where they can take the necessary decision to 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 you know to make the correction in the department or in anywhere right so this is how the this is the first visualization and the table we have created so now if you will select any other you know uh, month for example i'm selecting august so everything will get increase and decrease and the trend will show you the accordingly you see right everything is getting changed you see right so this is how you guys can create now the next you know uh, the information i would like to show location wise how much earning we have done so this is the location we have copied and paste it here and remove the duplicates now just you need to paste it here in a very simple way okay in a very simple way and make it in the right and here i want i want uh, whatever the month we have selected here okay whatever the month we have selected here but next i want the one month more okay i mean i want if i selected the september so it's next should be the october so how i can get that date okay date so you need to you know get the three words from the left sides and convert the same in the numbers and plus one okay this is the same september is the nine and uh, the october would be the ten right here you need to write date from the right side okay now date for the year okay so write from two okay and m add two zero and make it in the number you just need to copy and write here date function in the date it is asking year so i pasted it month we have already extracted and in the day whatever you can be this is the date we have got now let's use the text function and mm y y y okay so i am getting october now right let's make it border and you know give the necessary colors okay so here i want to use the sum if sum ifs okay and in the sum ifs i want the sum of the sales okay and after that i want the data according to the month select and select this criteria and the next you need to select the location the location is here okay and select here just drag right and down simple and now this num these numbers are you know very very big so it will create a problem to identify and to read it so what we can do just control one which i already have told you go in the custom you know has comma or you guys can comma and k and press ok so it will convert the same in the thousand so it is the more you know in the readable format just select it and go in the insert select any for example i'm selecting this one and what you guys can do you can select it like this and you can adjust it accordingly right so here you guys can write location wise analysis okay you guys you guys can you know write whatever you want to do and decrease the font size remove the grid line and remove this axis as well and right click go in change chart type go in the combo here uh, i want the september should be the as a line september should be as the line okay and line and this should be the column like this okay just select this one september you guys can select this one and click on okay okay this is how that you guys can create if you want to put any other color just go here and fill the color whatever you want to do if you want to change the line color go in the format chart area select the line go in the line here select the solid whatever 
for example this is what actually i want if i don't want then i can change the color as well it's a green and uh, if not so you guys can create anything okay whatever you want for example i'm just selecting this you know little red color and i want the uh, marker as little yellow so increase the you know the size of marker and and the color should be as a yellow okay and i want this line i want this line as a smooth line so go in the bottom and select this smooth line simple what next i want i want the next is i want to i want the data label like this okay and you guys can see now it is more you know in the readable format you see now if i will do in the full screen so if you will be able to see so this is the you know the matrix which is telling on that particular data you guys can see this data and this report both are completely different you know both has the different view the people will understand this mis report you know in the more readable format right the people only need to select the month for example they want to see the report of december just they need to select the december and they will get all you know the overview and apart from that if you guys want to you know uh, show some other information you guys can do it all right but in my case i just shown you as a demo so that you guys you guys will understand what actually you know uh, needs to be created in the mis report these are the comprehensive information you guys can show and you guys can populate and create the necessary visualization as per the as per the you know the requirement what actually you want to show right accordingly you can create the visualization and you can share with the stakeholders and you can and the people will be and the employee or leader will be able to take the decision on that particular data so that the business can, business can grow right so these are the things uh, guys i wanted to discuss and i have shown you okay this will help a lot to especially this you know pressure person who all are actually you know just entered and they really do not have any kind of understanding about the mis report right so those people can understand those people can start to create the report like this okay so this is the very basic i have not done so many designing okay in this particular mis report yes if you want me to do so please do comment and i'll try to i'll try to explain what else we can you know we can create and we can make it in the more attractive you know format right so i hope guys you have liked this video and i will attach this file in the description box from there you guys can download it for your practice so thank you so much everyone for watching the video thanks a lot